I never felt like we chose this place. It's like we just came across it and knew instantly that it was a home. We fell pregnant with our first and had to move out of our horrid little flat next to a strip club in London and came Suffolk once because uh, my mum lives here, I'm from here. We just drove into Saxmundham and it sounded so Harry Potter that we just based, buzzed off it straight away. This was a school for Saxmundham and the teacher would sit where I sit in the office next to a fireplace while all the kids froze down here. It was a rabbit warren of little rooms and we've changed it to be four big rooms downstairs. It's just great for the kids to grow up in. We build dens and play massive sprawling games of Playmobil and Lego everywhere. The kitchen's the weekend room. We're just in there all the time doing food, homework, <laughs> resting, reading, everything. And it's a great room for parties. When some of the kids' friends come around for the first time, you get this really beautiful perspective, which is, it really is like a TARDIS. It feels like it will be a small townhouse, but when you go in, it's just so big. I work in big spaces, so. And the thing also, you know, having a wheelchair, you just, being in a small space is extra difficult, I think. For me, a house is the opportunity to live a creative life. There's like artworks that I've made that are sort of integral to the building. There's the Albers fireplace, which I got permission from the Albers Foundation to rebuild. I don't know if any exist at the moment in the world, so it might be a one-off. And there's the sink. So I started a company called Otto Motto with Tony Chambers, who was formerly the editor of Wallpaper. And the second prototype for the sink I designed is in the kitchen. So there's all these like time capsule hidden things. The house is Brian's and the garden's mine. We completely redid it and we've got these big deep beds with loads of sort of country wildflowers in them. We started a project where we grew everything from seed and it's worked really well. One of the amazing things about our position here is the proximity to both beach, countryside and forest. They're all within a stone's throw. I think one of the downsides of living here is that when we go on holiday, it has to be better than this. You know when a lot of people have the house done up, they have it done up like it's a show home and it loses all its history and memories. For me, buildings are like vessels for memories. They're like the fallout and consequences of living a good life.